<laughs> Aha, we're here. Anything from the trolley, dears? Okay, part. Hi everyone, this is Mayube and welcome back to my channel. So, sorry it's been forever. I've been busy with, well, with life. So, let's not waste any time and get started with this May manga haul. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm testing out this little microphone and I'm hoping I sound a little better. If it does, if there's no difference, I'm just gonna go on and off using this microphone. So, yeah, let's get started. So, the first book I have here is called is a light novel. It's called The Long Long Goodbye of the Last Bookstore. So here's the front and then here's the back. And the back says the bond between books and readers carries beyond the page and I think that's true. So here's the book. Like that I decided to pick this up because the way they described it in the bookstore I went to had a little description, I read it, and that sounded interesting to me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna read that. I like bookstores. I'm sure all of you do. So I'm gonna give uh, give this a try. Oh, I hit myself with the glasses. <laughs> so yeah, here is the uh, long, long goodbye of the last bookstore. So the next manga is My Brain is Different, Stories of ADHD and Other Developmental Disorders. So this one I have read, I will talk more about this in my manga reading log, which will come out sometime soon, like this month, hopefully. So yeah, this one for sure, I will talk more about. So I'd say check it out. Oh, I forgot to show the back of this manga. So here's the back. It has a description of what the book is about. And then here's more people and people here too. Okay, next manga is Cat Massage Therapy Volume 2. So if you didn't know, these toe beans here, they also pop. So that's what I like about it. And also the title also pops, it's embossed. And here's the back of the manga. This is the new character that will show up in the um, story. And yeah, I love Cat Massage Therapy. You have no idea. So yeah. I will talk about this more in my reading log as well. So, yay! All right, the next couple of volumes of manga I picked up is called The Dragon Knight's Beloved. So look at this, here's the front. Ooh, look, there's a white dragon right here. The reason why I picked this one up is because, well, I like dragons in stories like this. So there's the dragon right there. Here's the back of the manga has a dragon egg right there so I'm sure that might show up in the story and they'll have a baby dragon like for example in the second volume right here I hope that egg is this one because it's a cute little blue dragon right here this volume two and here's the back right here yeah okay the next manga is a witch's printing office volume one so I've been liking stories about witches and dragons and all that magical stuff. So, or fa magical fantasy stories. So here is another one I'm probably going to enjoy. So it's about this girl here. I'm assuming she's a witch. And then here's the back. Here is more characters. So she's, she looks like a witch too. And then some animal looking characters too. This one looks like a fox for sure. So yeah, here's the back. So it feels nice too. I like the texture of the book. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to read this. Okay, so finally I have Chainsaw Man Volume 11. So this concludes the um, part, first part of the series. The second part will, I almost said park, it's part. The second part will um, continue I think later this year if someone knows please let me know because I'm looking forward to binging all of Chainsaw Man and then checking out the second part and also watching the anime which 
the anime looks so freaking awesome. So yeah, so here's Chainsaw Man Volume 11. Here's the front. Here's shirtless Denji in the back saying, yo, peace. Wait, can't wait to see y'all for part two. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Denji. If I, if I really mess up the character's name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so yeah, here's that. Okay, next up is the Apothecary Diaries Volume 1. So I've heard nothing but great things and I'm pretty sure the description of this manga is something right up my alley, something that I will enjoy. So here's the front cover, here's the back. Oh man, I like the color of his wardrobe, it's purple. So pretty, I love it. So here's that, Apothecary Diaries. And I think there's like uh, three or four volumes currently out right now. So I will probably, like if I like the first volume, I'm probably gonna pick up some more later on. Okay, I'm excited to talk about this next volume. So um, the next manga is The Duke of Death and His Maid. So this is also an anime that's streaming on Funimation. It's, I, I think it is subbed and dubbed, but I'll talk about the dub briefly because I haven't seen the anime yet, but I've heard, I have a little like fun fact about like the dub of this particular series. So this is the Duke of Death. He is voiced by one of my favorite voice actors besides Robbie Damon. His name is Clifford Chapin. And the other character here, the maid, she is voiced by his fiance at that time when that show was airing but now it's his his waifu her name is Kristen mcguire and they both are in the show together and in my opinion i think it's so romantic and i love it <laughs> so romantic they get to like like perform in the same show together and their main characters too so yeah here's the front and then here's the back so yeah i can't wait to read this one it's gonna be fun I hope so yeah the Duke of Death and his maid okay so the next manga I got really excited when I first saw it on display in the, at the bookstore and it is Little Witch Academia so if you haven't heard of this one it is a studio trigger uh, series um, it is an original story so this was this is currently streaming on Netflix a there is also another one which is I think like the enchanted parade or something like that and that's like a uh, kickstarter project which was successfully funded and was streaming in fun uh, not funimation netflix streaming on netflix and uh yeah they took it out for some reason which i i'm a little sad because that was a little fun um animation so yeah if you wanted to check out this series it is streaming on netflix a little witch academia I really like it. The art style is so colorful and fun and yeah, I can't wait to um, read this and then also watch the series again on Netflix. So here's the front and then here's the back. See all the colors, they look so nice. And yeah, I don't think it's, what, uh, what does JY stand for? It is a Katakawa Comics. It's not, it's not Yen Press or uh, Kodansha, it's this one, JY. I don't know what that means. Maybe if I look at the cover here somewhere, inside here. What does JY stand for? Oh, it is part of Yen Press. Okay, cool. I was like, I don't know what JY means, but yeah. Little Witch Academia. Okay, the next volume I picked up is Penguin and House volume one so here's the front look at all these penguins they're so adorable and here's the back and they're humans they're, they're basic <laughs> but here it is so i heard about the series from cake tins or caitlin um she uh talked about this or showed this um manga in one of her videos and i was like yo i like penguins i want to check the series out so i did so here's volume one Okay, so the next one is quite pretty. It's not a manga, it's a light novel, and it's I Am Blue in Pain and Fragile. So if you heard of the series, oh, not series, but the story, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, it's the same author, and this author wrote this one. So yeah, take a look at this, this is so pretty. See the trees and the bicycle and the shadows of, and the sun and the little 
birds there. And here's the back of the description of the story right there. Yeah, I can't wait to read this. I want to change things up instead of reading pictures all day, even though I love reading pictures, <laughs> picture books. So here's that one. Okay, so the next volume I have is volume four of Blue Flag. Look at this. This is like they're in the festival. So I'm currently reading this one and I've been enjoying it. Here's the back. So fireworks, woo, so good. I just really like the covers. It's so nice. I love it. All right, so the next manga that I picked up is volume one of Dead, Dead Demons, D -d 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 Destruction. Uh, it's a work by Inu Asano. Now, I don't know, I have read the first volume of Goodnight Pun Pun and I wasn't really a fan of it. I had, well, I had mixed feelings about it and I still do. Not sure if I want to continue reading more of it because I think it's a little weird, but I'm hoping when I check this one out, I'll have a better experience reading it and hopefully enjoy it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this author a chance at least, but reading Goodnight Pun Pun, mm -mm, no. <laughs> so here's this front. Here's the back. Oh, look at this. This is like a little like text bubble when you're like texting on an iPhone. I don't know if that's the same thing for an Android phone. Uh, phone. A uh, phone. Android phone. <laughs> and yeah, they see text bubbles you see in, a, in like when you're texting someone. Yeah. And then I don't know. This feels nice too. This like is very glossy in some parts here. So yeah. I have a face right here. La 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 la. <laughs> Okay, next manga. Okay, so we have volume one, a blue period. So this one is, this series is about art and I really like to draw and be artsy fartsy and stuff. So I'm probably gonna enjoy this one and I've heard nothing but great things about it. A lot of people have been putting it in their top 10 or top five mangas. So I'm like, okay, let's check this series out. So here's the front and here's the back. Ooh, I like this. This is like very comic booky here. Like you see these characters and these panels here and there's a little blurb discussion and whatnot. So yeah, here's the back. This is also a Netflix show. So I haven't watched it yet. I've been told that it's either good or like it didn't give this manga justice or it didn't do really well. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll hold off on it. I'll read the manga first and see if I like it. Maybe check out maybe a couple episodes. I don't know. So we'll see. So yeah, Blue Period, Volume 1. Okay, the next volume of manga is Pompo the Cinephile. So there is a movie for this. I haven't seen it, so I'm going to check out the manga first to see if I like it. And if it comes out on DVD, I'm going to check it out or streaming on like, I don't know, HBO or Netflix. So that, here's the front. Here's the back. Oh, look how orange this is. And you get to see the other characters in the story, like lights, camera, action. And also, this part's embossed too, so that's nice. Like before, I didn't have a lot of embossed like um, books or manga for actually until um, this haul. Now I have more embossed stories, so I'm like, yay! I have more options. So yeah, moving on. Okay, next I have volumes one through one through four of Free Ren. So here's volume one. The back. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. And then here's volume two. Here's the back. Volume three. And the back. And volume four. Inside of the back. Ooh, there's dancing. I like ballroom dancing. So that's nice. I like that. So for Free Ren. I've heard nothing but great things about this fantasy series, so I like fantasy stories, so I'm probably going to enjoy this, so yeah, hopefully this goes well when I read it, so yeah, free run! Alright, next up is The Haunted Bookstore Gateway to a Parallel Universe Volume 1. So the reason why I picked this one up is because it's about a bookstore. So I'm like, why is it haunted? I just want to know. So that's why I got this one. And it has these two charming boys. <laughs> I think they're boys. So here's that. Here's the front and here's the back. The re I really want to know why this bookstore is haunted. So that's why I picked it up. So yeah, the haunted bookstore. 
Okay, this one I really want to read. I might save it for my mid-year reading log. So um, here is The Seven Little Sons of the Dragon. So this is a collection of stories. So like about dragons and also in the back here there's some mermaids like this little lady right here and this character right here she looks like Mulan so I'm like okay so this is another like fantasy-ish story or collection of stories so I can't wait to dive into this one and see what it's all about because you know the word dragon caught my attention so I'm like yeah give me some more dragons Okay, the next volume is a cover by. So this manga is my first Tokyo. Oh, sorry, the first Tokyo Pop volume. It's called Ma'am Coordinate. Like, look at this. It's I like the colors. It's like very pastel-ish. But yeah, the cover caught my attention. It seems really cute, and yeah, slice of life. I like slice of life stories too. So here's the main character in her interesting fa sense of fashion. And then that's her friend, maybe. We'll find out. I could read the description, but I don't want to take too long on this. So here it is. Here's volume one of Ma'am Coordinate. I think I've only seen one other person on Instagram to, like show this volume off, but I don't know if it's good. So I'm going to definitely read this one and see if I like it. If it's good enough, I might pick up the next couple too. Do the three volume test because I always do that when I read series. So yeah, ma'am coordinate. Oh. Okay, so the next series I have is called The Country Without Humans Volumes 1. Blah. Here's the back. It's pretty nice. And Volume 2. And here's the back. Okay, so for this one... At first it gave me like Bioshock vibes because it's like in set in a very futuristic world and there's like only one human which is this little girl here but it's not scary from what I've been told so I think the next thing that kind of reminds me of this story would be Somali and the Forest Spirit like the Forest Spirit looks like, I think the for it's the Forest Spirit or it's Somali one of the two they look like a robot and they're in this forest or like this mystical mythical or mystical forest i don't know it's on crunchyroll i i watched like maybe a few episodes but it's been a while might go back and rewatch it again but it gave me this vibes and made me think of this series so hopefully it's good i've been told from other or i've heard from other people it's been been good and been recommended so many times so gonna check this series out so yeah the country without humans okay the next volume is she and her cat and I think it's a one-shot I don't think there's no other volumes for this particular manga so here's the front of she and her cat and the back I will open it up because it looks really nice see I like some manga that do does this so there's that why did I pick it up? Because it has the word cat in it. So I'm interested to see why this kitty is important. So yeah, I mean, she's important too, I guess. So, but mostly the kitty. So she and her cat. Okay, the next one is Run on Your New Legs. So this is a sports manga. I've been seeing a lot of this on Instagram. So I cannot wait to see, to read about this one because I think it's about running or something like that but I love to run I love to run as like my exercise my form of exercise and just I guess any fun event like marathons and whatnot 4ks I don't know <laughs> so here's the front of the pay, uh, manga in the back so yeah run on your new legs I'm rooting for this guy so yeah cuz he has that <laughs> So we have Happiness Volume 6. So this completes my series in my collection. So I cannot wait to start binge reading Happiness. So hopefully it goes well and I like it. I mean, I thought the vo first volume was pretty good. So I will read some more and see how this story will go. 
Um, right now I have read uh, Blood on the Tracks and that one's kind of, I like that one a little bit more than the first volume of Happiness, but we'll see where if this will beat it. So yeah, can't wait to read Happiness. I have another cat manga again. <laughs> so we have Cat Gamer. So this one, obviously I picked this up because it has a cute kitty on it. So here's the front, here's the back. Did I even show the front and back of Happiness Volume 6? I, prob I don't remember, so I'm going to show that quickly right now. So here is Volume 1 of, not Volume 1. Dang it, I'm not in a good... <laughs> This is not going well. <laughs> here's the front cover of Happiness Volume 6, and here's the back. Yeah, I don't think I showed this, so here it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to Cat Gamer. So this one's cute because it has a cute kitty on there. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner has a thing for video games, which I also am into video games too. So here's that as well. So yeah, Cat Gamer. Kitty manga. I'm on a quest to complete all the kitty manga in my collection. So yeah, here we go. Two more volumes to go. So here is the second to the last, which is colorless. So I've seen this a lot on Instagram too, in other people's hauls. It's very um, black and white, except for like maybe this color right here, this Tiffany blue color. So here's the front. Here's the back. Uh, I agree what HVL Manga said. Like, I like the feel of here. And then, ooh, holy crap. The pages feel amazing. She's right. Dang, girl. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to read this one. I'm probably going <laughs> to continue touching this volume because it's so, it feels so smooth. I love it. <laughs> okay, we're on to the final manga so it is about makeup it is a non-fiction manga like um my brain is different but it's by a different author and it's about well makeup so this is called makeup is not just magic a manga guide to skin care and well cosmetics and skin care so i heard about the series from queen d she had this one in her haul like a couple months ago and this one i'm like i don't wear a lot of makeup but Learning more about makeup would be interesting. And yeah, here's the front, here's the back. Yeah, right now I'm just only using mascara and like lip gloss or lips lipstick. So I will bump up my game, I guess, later. So maybe learn a little trick or two in this manga to see what they have to say. But yeah, I, I, like, I like it, so hey. <laughs> tote I got from SeaWorld. It's a sloth tote. Uh, you can't really see the cute sloth on here. Yeah, see? Here's a cute sloth and it says hang in there. That's what I've been doing this past month, hanging in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go through what I have inside this tote. So the first one is a French manga of Spy Family. French version of Spy Family. So, um, if you can tell, it looks similar to the English version. In the back, it's slightly different. It doesn't have the little pictures of the characters, but it has just a little design here and then a little discussion, uh, description in French right here. And then I'm so excited what, to show you what the inside of this like book sleeve here is, or dust cover. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. So I am going to open the sleeve. Okay, so here's the inside here. Then it says Spy Family right here. And the, the, the little blurb about the mangaka. And then look! It's Anya pretend to be Twilight in the chair. Isn't that cute? See? <laughs> she looks silly. And then we have a little, you know, confidential information of the character. So this is the Twilight's profile and it <laughs> it's like blacked out a lot of the main information like the education the name of his parents and his birth uh, it, does it cover his birthday I think so yeah 
it covers his real name and his age so yeah i really like this i'm pretty sure the um volumes two and three will probably have a little profile of like your and anya oh look it's that that guy that gives him the information and stuff helps him out in his missions i forgot his name is it frankie frank i don't remember but yeah there's a profile here's anya pretending to be a spy see look at her she has a little gun <laughs> like little like space gun here like a toy gun and then she has spy wars which is her favorite little anime show or tv show so she watch watches all the time so yeah i really like it and then in the inside eh, it's plain but yeah this is really cool all right so i want to give a shout out to laura a grace for sending me a couple copies of her books uh, that she wrote as well as like other um, authors who contributed in these books so here is finding god in anime a devotional for otakus here, here's the front here's the back and here is the front of the second volume it looks so pretty i don't know who designed the cover for this one but it's so nice and here's the back look here's a kitty again <laughs> i love kitties so yeah here's that one so yeah thank you so much laura you're the best same to you janelle for sending me the copy of spy family when you went to europe thank you thank you you two ladies you guys are awesome rock, you rock <laughs> also uh i went a little crazy during free comic book day and got a lot of comics like this much of this because <laughs> i live in a big city and there is uh, uh there are uh, two like big comic book stores where that's near um by me so yeah i'll show you a couple of them like here's pokemon journeys and then here's sonic the hedgehog stranger things i'm not gonna go through every single one of them because i picked up a lot <laughs> Um, there's some pretty good ones here. Oh, look, there's DC, DC su uh, superheroes, girls. Let's see, there's another one in here. Oh, this one's pretty. Galaxy, the prettiest star. Oh, there it is. This is the one I'm, I think this is going to be a manga later on. It's called Apossums from Vertical Comics right here. This one's going to be a manga for sure. I don't know if this one will come out anytime soon, but yeah, we got that. I don't know if this is the same author of, oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, same author as Blame and Knights of Sidonia. These two I really want to check out at some point, but I guess this is like one of the, the newest ones out there for um, manga wise. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, what else? <gasps> Ooh, yo you guys you guys look at this so we have a this one's a movie so here's another free comic of like the super pets this one i've been seeing in theater trailers and theaters so that's cool oh here's another one i didn't realize i had this so it's called one dance oh wait a minute is it the oh it's upside down too okay so we have one dance by kodansha and then the other side is Black Guard, also from Kadansha. So if, uh, I wonder when these manga will come out, but that's, oh, volume one's available now for this one. The other one, oh, this one comes out this summer. So, oh, this is cool. I'm liking this. Yay, for free comic book day. Uh, let's see, yeah, free comic books are awesome. There's like, ooh, there's <laughs> King Shark. Yeah, Batman, and so many more. I could I could just dedicate the whole video to just comics, just talking about it. But if any one of you wants some free comics, I can give it to you for free, maybe, depending how it is. But yeah, I have a lot of comics. <laughs> but yeah, free comic book day. Take advantage of that, cause who who can't you can't I can't say no to free comics. Like why not? <laughs> so yeah. Gosh, hold on. Yeah, free comics. And now is 
officially the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.